What's going on YouTube? Kyle Ken coming at you with a little something different today on DN. Uh, I thought I'd do a little segment about side decking, like how to side deck and what you should have in your side deck. Some people asked me uh, to do a video on this, so I figured I'd do a little something on it. Or maybe like a little uh, series more than a segment, because stuff. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll just go over generic side decks for this video and, you know, what pretty much goes in. Uh, as you can see right here, I have like a complication of... Uh, Kind of generic cards of what goes and what can fit in just about any side deck. Uh, this is just some stuff I threw together that uh, doesn't go in every side deck, but you can, uh, depending on your deck, your side deck will more than likely be different. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. Uh, Cyber Dragons. Usually you would side these in against uh, Hero Beat or uh, I guess GBs if they're still around. Because well, against Hero Beat, they have to waste resources to get rid of the Cyber Dragon because it's, uh, it's a 21 beater. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty much all 19, uh, 19 attackers, unless they go, like, Miracle, but they would have to use, like, a Miracle or Gemini Spark Bottomless or, uh, Deep Prison or what have you to get rid of, uh, Cyber Dragon, so that's always good to side against them. Next, we have DD Crow. This is alright right now. I mean, I don't really side this anymore. Uh, really, right now, I guess you could, you could side this against, uh, Insectors, I guess and maybe heroes but since miracle fusion doesn't target it's not really that great uh... at least in my opinion right now because i'm not really a fan of dd car right now it's usually i keep it on my side deck though but all right now i just took it out uh... effect veiler this is very good for the uh... side deck right now uh... against the sectors uh... you know they go equip you go veiler then or they go activate you go veiler and whatnot uh... you don't really want to side this in against rabbit because Rabbit has priority, or the turn player has priority to remove a Rabbit, and uh, it'll be a waste of a Veiler. Uh, you could hit Tour Guide with this too, but again, why would you really want to side it against Rabbit? You could side it against um, Wind Ups, though. I mean, it'll slow them down to some extent. They might still be able to go off, though, with Shark, because if you Veiler the Magician, they can just Special Summon Shark, but uh, that won't really do too much in that, uh, that scenario right there. Uh, here's something I like to side right now, Electric Virus. Uh, it's another hand trap, along with Crow, Valor, and Maxi. Uh, what it does is you discard it from your hand to take control of face-up dragon or machine-type monster. Uh, since Rabbit's pretty big in the format, uh, I started siding this. But you can take a Lagi or Dolka, because those are actually dragons that just need uh, dinosaurs to overlay with. Um, usually you use this for like, going for game, or just to... Uh, do a, like you know, do a really big push because you take their their loggy. Hopefully, they don't have a dole because if they have dole, they'll just negate it. But you might want them to negate based on your deck structure. Anyway, but you just go discard to take it, uh, do your plays, what have you, uh, and then I guess you like if you're not going for game, I you probably want to get rid of it. Like in my case, I could like attack or whatever miracle fusion or do whatever I gotta do so they can't negate my plays but uh... yeah. Oh, this also only works on your turn. I don't know why a lot of people seem to think that cards like this that take your opponent's monsters work during either player's turn. You don't activate it during the main phase. That's another thing that uh, some people don't know when they use cards like this or Puppet Plant. Uh, Maxi. Uh, the start of this one, Maxi was really big because uh, everybody thought windups were going to be like the big deck or whatever. But... Maxi doesn't really do anything anymore. It's because a lot of people know about it, and they know how to play around it. So it's really only good in the wind-up matchup uh, against Rabbit. You go plus one at most because they'll just go Rabbit. You chain Maxi. Uh, you get the sp you you break even from the two dinosaurs coming out, and then you go plus one off the uh, Loggy or Dolka. But against wind-ups, uh, this per this prevents them from looping your hand entirely. They although they can still loop, but if the more they keep going, the more you draw, so it's really not an effective strategy at all. So Maxi, I, I Maxi, I, I just like in the side right now. I don't like it main anymore. Uh, you have Snowman Eater again, another card good for siding against uh, Hero Beat. It's also good against Rabbit because they go, uh, you have, they they make a Lagia. Uh, you set the Snowman Eater, they attack until it flips up during damage step, and they can't negate it because that's not even why it flips up. I mean, dip, derp. That's not why they can't negate it. Because it's a monster effect and it's being flip summoned. They can, I think they can negate flip summons. I don't remember. But the point is, it's a monster effect. Logia can't negate monster effects. Dope can though, but you know. 
Uh, Thunder King Ryo. Uh, I used to love this card. I don't really like it so much anymore. Uh, usually you could side it against uh, Dark Worlds. Um, I guess you could side it against Wind-Ups, assuming you know, you're know trying to go first or whatever. You can still use it against Wind-Ups, actually, because they can't search, and you would just uh, send Ryo to Graveyard to negate their Zen... Mayo? The one is for summons. I keep forgetting the name. Doesn't matter. Uh, next, we're on to the spells. Uh, dimensional Fissure. Uh, I usually decide this against. Um, oh, you said this against uh, Ryo against Dark Worlds, too. Forgot about that. Then I guess Crow against Dark Worlds to get rid of the graphics. Anyway, uh, I usually decide this against Dark Worlds. Because for them effects to go off, they have to go to Graveyard. And with D Fissure on field, none of their effects will work. So they'll pr they'll need to MST it. Or solemn it, but a lot of the ones I've seen don't run MST in the main. Some of them run heavy though, so you have to watch out for that, I suppose. But uh, yeah, there's not really too much else you could really side Defigure against. I guess if you really want to, you could side it against Windups, but uh, I I would just not send side it against Windups and people are texting me. Next is a card. Uh, it's, I think it's really good. Uh, I didn't even know about it until one of my friends uh, told me about it. Uh, in the side deck for right now. Uh, Forbidden Chalice. This card's been out for a while. But it's actually really good. Um, one monster, select, you select one face up monster on the field against 400 attack, but it's effects negate until the end phase. Now, that's actually really good for, uh, in sector matchup. Um, you could, you could use it to run over things also offensively. You could use this card offensively or defensively to, uh, to either run over uh, opposing monsters or to negate their effects. To activate during damage step, which is also really nice. But when you're using it offensively, they might think you have like a a poopy face tomato nose or something. Ah, uh, fuck, I can't think of the card. Anyway, there's uh, multiple cards you activate during damage step. But anyway, just moving on. Uh, MST. I mean, if you're not mating to MST, uh, you, you side your third. Uh, if you're not mating any MSTs, you should probably keep them all in your side deck. I like having the third one in my side deck, because I main deck too. Uh, bottomless. Uh, usually against Rabbit, you could side this, because uh, it hits both targets they bring out with Rabbit. Uh, you can side it against GBs and Heroes as well. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of eh against Heroes, because it just kind of powers up their shining, but at the same time, it might slow them down, because they don't have the Gemini Spark for their alias. Or you just straight up bottomless their shining, so they don't get effect at all. That's always annoying. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else can you side this? You, no, not against insectors. Dark worlds, you can side against dark worlds because they'll play. Uh, after they play gates, all their monsters can be hit by bottomless, aside from like tour guide, I believe. I think tour guide's the only one that can't be hit by bottomless. Oh, you can also side this against GKs uh, because they will after Necrovelli is on board. All the monsters that someone in their deck can get bottomless, so that's always uh, always good because you really want to. Usually, when I play against like GKs or uh, GKs or start, certain other decks, you just want to keep the pressure on them. You don't want them to maintain field presence, so they can't. Uh, so it's harder for them to uh, to go off. So like bottomless assists with that as well as warning and whatnot. Uh, chain disappearance. This card uh, it got really good during Sam format. Uh, you can still use it right now since there are some stamps are still around. Uh, you could actually side this against uh, Insectors right now, but if you chain me them, that kind of sets them up for uh, I think Insector Loop with uh, with Levy with Levier. I don't know the exact loop, but you remove like all their Dragonflies with Chain D, so then you're just going to Levier, uh, activate Levier, detach material. Uh, grab back a dragonfly, and I just timed out. Damn it! This is going to ruin the video. God damn it! All right, so I guess I'll just cut this part out. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, damn it! Now I gotta sort it again. Uh, oh yeah, they go levier. They levier loop with uh with Chainy and dragonfly, so it's not really the best idea to side this in against them. Uh, you could still, well, assuming you hit the dragonflies and the Hornets, I guess you could slow them down a lot, but that takes a lot of time and effort and calories and everything. Macro Cosmos. Uh, I prefer Defigure over Macro because 
I can I can play around defense. And macro is kind of harder for me to play around. Uh, you can pretty much side in macro. Uh, the same thing side against defissure in against the uh, dark worlds heroes. I don't think I said heroes for defissure actually. But yeah, uh, macro. Um, you really uh, insectors is is really good against too. Uh, not really, really good against. But you decided in against insectors. The D fissure won't really do much because when they equip and then pop off, they're treated as uh, spell cards. So D fissure doesn't affect them. They used to actually main D fissure less format or before the ban list. Yeah, less format before the ban list. But uh, macro you could uh, against um, Dark World is good too because they get no effect here whatsoever because they get removed with it again inside the graveyard. Uh, next up. Uh, one of my friends uh, showed me this card, and he decided it against Rabbit, and it kind of worked. It's a uh, Nordic Relic uh, Leviathan. I don't know. I definitely did not say that right, but it's uh. You can just read the effect real quick. You select one monster in the field, destroy a monster by battle this turn. Destroy the selected monster. Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card. Now that last line on this card is what makes it good, or you know, decent to side against Rabbit and whatnot, because. Uh, with, you know, Logia, they can negate whatever, but with this, they can't, uh, activate anything in response to it, so they can't Solemn, they can't activate Logia in response, you know, they can't, like, Trapstone or whatever, so this is, this is actually pretty good, uh, you could side this against GBs and against Black Wings, I guess, if you really want to, although I don't really see those decks in play at all anymore. I guess I saw GBs at my locals, but I mean, that's just the locals, not really like a larger event or whatever. But you know, this is always something you could think about siding, because uh, my friend told me about this and I thought it was pretty interesting. And uh, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, um, again, uh, Dark Worlds, Insectors, they can't activate effects while on the field or in a graveyard. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and th I had another card, but. The uh, I got timed out. Uh, it's Royal Decree. A lot of you know what it does, and I just spelled Decree wrong. Oh my gosh, I'm failing. And I Decree. There we go. Uh, usually, Insectors side this because uh, they know you're gonna side in like uh, Shadow Prison Mirror, Skill Drain, and such. So they'll side in Royal Decree. Uh, it'll just usually just, uh, just fuck over their opponent because it's pretty much when Insector side in this, they're counter side they're countersiding what their opponent is siding in because they just know their opponent's gonna side in uh, Shadow and Prison Mirrors, uh, possibly Macro, uh, maybe this. Uh, it also stops that like, torrential warning and whatnot. Um, you could also have this in against Grave Keepers. It slows them down a lot. Um, it's really the only two you could really side it. I guess again you could side it against. Black Wings or uh, or Glads because they are pretty trap reliant. But uh, yeah. So I guess that'll be it for this video. Uh, if you guys like this segment, uh, let me know. I'll be sure to do more, and uh, I could go over uh, side deck jobs, next stuff. generic side deck stuff for each individual deck, like Insectors, GKs, and Heroes and whatnot, if you want. Uh, but uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. So you know, I know the deal. Uh, comment, subscribe, and comments. A lot of good jazz. Okay, I'll catch you next time. Later.